Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italia camp. And I just wanted to do a lesson regarding the dream I had last night. So I'm not I'm not one that usually have dreams like that, you know. And most of the time when I dream before I wake up, I, I, I tend to forget my dreams. Uh, but usually I don't I don't really get that much dreams anyway. So something happened last night before sleeping, you know, I was just saying my little prayer and you know, I just don't know. I have it's been really a long time I said such prayer, you know. I was just pray to the most I have Hashem Shai to give me a vision, you know. So, you know, sleeping, you know, I just had this vision, this dream. So anyway, I live in a six story complex. Okay. So looking through my window, I can actually see a huge part of the city, you know, and deep down, you know, I have these huge mountains right before me. So in the dream anyway, you know, I was in my apartment with, you know, some other people I don't know. And, you know, there was this feeling of um, trouble, war. You know, it seemed like I was telling these people that, hey, something serious is about to go down. You know, there's about to be a, a war or something, you know. So all of a sudden we saw these um, this military planes, you know, just moving fast and just shooting, you know, the city right out at our front, you know. They were just shooting down, you know, bombs, shooting, you know, blowing up places. And, you know, we saw um, we saw these soldiers, you know, flying down from the sky with parachutes, you know. And it was really a scene of distress, a scene of war, you know, scary. So I looked out my window again, you know, and I saw, you know, people running out in the streets, you know, confused, not knowing what to do. And, you know, in a dream, I was just thinking to myself what I was going to do, you know. So, anyway, the most I have Hashem, Yahushai just gave me a scene of, of war, of destruction, you know. You know, place, places blowing up, you know, people running all, all, all around, you know. So, I woke up, you know, and the dream was, you know, it got me a little worried, you know. So... At the end of the day, you know, I'm getting to understand what the dream actually is. You know, the most is actually, you know, showing us what's about to come because these were already prophesied in the books. You know, the days ahead are not really beautiful days. The days ahead are really crazy, mad days, you know, like the book of um, Daniel 12, 1 tells you like a time like never before, man. So, you know, through the spirit, you know, I just have the book of um, Luke. I'll start reading for um, chapter 21 from verse 11, quotes, And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. And we've been seeing all different earthquakes in diverse places, you know. And, you know, lately these earthquakes are, are really, you know, getting much more and more. And famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven, you know. We've been seeing different signs from heaven farmings are coming very soon like i also have this um this article anyway let me bring it out this article here in italy so it's actually in italian and i've been trying to translate it to english but i couldn't but i translated it with google translate here which i just want to share what's what's going on here in italy and you know, trust me, this thing is also coming everywhere, you know. So this is the, the, the title of of the of the article. So I copied it here and it says Pasta Alarm Risk of Empty Shelves from the beginning of 2022 and skyrocketing prices. Okay. 
2022 is just by the corner. It's just a couple of months down, you know. Experts expect recharges of more than 20% per package for Christmas. Ferro in Molisano, which is, um, you know, a company that, pre um, that, that produces pasta, which is the spaghetti we have here in Italy. Between March and May, we will have not... Um, between March and May, we will not have enough wheat. Not even during the war was so much grain missing. So can you imagine? Esau is already letting you know what's about to come. And then if you go read more through the article, so it goes after after the expensive bill because you know now they've actually increased our our bills our lights and gases you know that's why you know we all really need to pray for the kingdom of Shai to come man things are really getting crazy and things are only going to get crazier than we think man all this illusion of you know comfort that we have in this place is about to go down the drain man after the expensive bill the government is frightened by the expensive pasta you know, pasta is um is spaghetti, macaroni, which is you know the major food we eat here in Italy. You know, which is made by wheat. So as you read, they said there's going to be a scarcity of wheat. But what's causing the scarcity of wheat? We have land, we have people ready to work, we have different kinds of things. But the government, you know, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man that is running everything, they really need to bring you know order out of chaos. They need to create this situation to get you on your news, you know, to get you on your news so you can you can be on the queue to get Vanessa. So when the, the, the when Marcos comes out, you know, you can just easily take it. So they need they really need to create a situation of famine and pestilence in which it's the most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai doing all this, you know, through these people. In large retailers, the incre the increases have already started, but the real thing could come around christmas and you know i've been going out to different stores lately and i've been noticing you know the increase in prices and i've also been noticing all different kinds of um gmo fruits you know added into normal fruits like the other day i went to get some lemon i get i got back home and the amount i usually buy lemon you know it skyrocketed you know it went up I was kind of like, you know, scared, like, why is this prices keep going up? And, you know, I got home, cut my lemon, but the lemon looked so different. It looked so different, you know. It had thicker skin and lesser, lesser inward stuff in, inside, you know. It had very little water and no seeds, you know. It looked so different. So, you know, Esau is already coming with this, all this wickedness. And it's the most I hear about Shem Yao Shai that is, you know, making making use of Esau to push all these things, you know, because this is the great time that that's been spoken of. You know, there is going to be great pestilence, you know, famine and destruction. And those who don't who are taking this truth for granted, they have the time to listen to this truth now. They're taking it for granted. And, you know, YouTube have already started bringing out their different decrees that they'll be taking down videos so we can see the famine of the world is getting closer, which is the book of Amos 8.11. It's still getting closer. Those taking all these things for granted, they are going to, you know, suffer in all these pestilences that come that are coming, you know. So it's not a time to just be relaxed. And, you know, it's a time to really be praying for the protection of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. A time to be ready for what's about to come, man. When experts fear increases in the order of 15 to 20 cents per package, in many cases, an increase of over 20 percent, which risk throwing the amount, the account of Italian families into crisis. And already, there are lots of Italian families who don't have jobs, man. There are lots of Italians that you know they pick they pick food from 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 um from trash cans man there are lots of italians who pick food from trash cans really <laughs> a perfect storm that starts from afar and is interwined with climate change that's the bs they're going to tell you the last summer was devastating the heat 
and they're just going to bring out all this you know climate change and all this stuff to you know to back up their their wickedness that they're about to do so anyway keep reading from the book of um luke you can see and it says and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines which we already seen this you can see what's already happening in the uk i spoke to my mom yesterday because my my family they all live in the uk and my mom told me that you know things are really getting crazy over there in the uk you know like um meat supply is getting really mad expensive you know they sell them triple the price they used to be in just this short time and this just started now think of what's going to come in the next few months and they're already telling us the same thing here in italy as well and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven but those who trust in the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai in the midst of all these problems are going to eat the scriptures let us know that my servants shall eat and drink and have enough you know verse 21 but before all these they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake we're being brought before kings and rulers because you know these kings and rulers in this kingdom of the wicked they already know who the great millstone are they know the truth that we're preaching they know and you know they're just trying to be diplomatic about the thing banning and cutting down our videos but yet you know times are coming in which you know physically many brothers will be taken into the prisons you know many brothers are going to be you know how should i put it many brothers are going to just be missing you know kidnapped but hey you shouldn't be scared because the most high yahweh hashem yahweh shai has all different plans you know the most high yahweh hashem yahweh shai has promised us power man you know you're going to be saved you know there are lots of things that happen in the scriptures in which you know i've been coming up with different examples the story of daniel the story of meshach meshach shadrach and abednego the brothers um the the story of um helio 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 Daros, you know in the book of maccabees that thought he was going to go into jerusalem and destroy the uh, and take the money and take their riches but all, all what happened the most i sent an angel that scorched them really hard you know so we should expect miracles in these days man that's why we are actually doing this walk you know because we fear the most high yahweh shem yahweh shai we expecting him to help us to have mercy on our souls you know to be to be merciful on us in these wicked days that are coming man you know but what he says in verse 13 he say and it shall turn to you for a testimony settle it therefore in your heart not to meditate before what ye shall answer because in those days most high yahweh shem yahweh shai is going to always be with us his spirit is going to tell us what to say you know for i will give your mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain say nor resist and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and king's folks and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death you know the most i yell about shimmy shy before he does anything you know he say um he has already put into the mouth of his prophets you know before he does anything he informs his prophet so we've been informed of these times that are coming some of the brothers are going to be put to death you know myself i could be put to death i'm just praying for the mercy of yahweh Hashem yahweh shai but whatever his will be let it be man you know because the, there's a scripture that says you know beautiful it, 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 beautiful is the death of his saints in his eyes man so you know we've been informed about what's about to come we'll be betrayed by our parents will be betrayed by our brethren will be betrayed by our king's folk man and he's already doing this thing you know putting separations between families between people you know with those who, who who went to bed with vanessa and those who didn't go to bed with vanessa you know so things are really about to get really heated up and that was you know the most i yell about shem yow shai hearing my prayer last night you know when i prayed for a vision it showed me that you know destruction is coming on a high scale man on a high scale but we you know being in this truth you know hoping we are the that's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect you know we have promises from the most high and we're trying to 
you know, do the best of our abilities, you know, to be worthy of these promises, you know. This is the book of Jeremiah. No, I'm going to start from the book of, um, yeah, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51. Out. Excuse me, Salak, Salakia. Um, this is the book of Jeremiah 51 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. You know, we are the battle axe of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Very soon, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to give us this power, man. So don't be scared what's about to come. Don't fall for a piece of bread for some short time, you know, selling your soul to this to these devils, you know. Because you know, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has the power to save you, man, from what's coming. He has the power to protect you. He could give you special powers, you know, in which these powers are being promised. You know, we are waiting and expecting these powers from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. No weapon fashioned against us will prosper, man. We're going to be made the battle axe and the weapon of war, you know, and we're going to break into pieces this kingdom. We're going to break into pieces this wicked ones who has kept us in this wicked slavery for, for, for all this time, man. This is the book of Isaiah. I'm going to read from chapter 40, verse 31. And I'll go straight down to 41 as well. So this is the book of Isaiah chapter 40, 31. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not be faint. Then the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to renew our strength. We would be able to fly like them eagles, man. So we are not scared of what's coming, man. And as I said earlier, whatever, whatever, whatever the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has, you know, ordained us to to happen to to happen to us, you know, let it be, man. Let it be. We know that whatever the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai does to us, it's for our, our our perfection. It's for our good, man. So we are expecting these powers. That's why we wouldn't bow down to. To Esau, we wouldn't take his um his, his his Vanessa portion, you know. We wouldn't bow to his mark of the beast, which is the next thing to come, you know. I did a lesson regarding um Nigeria, you know, they already started using this um in Ghana, they already started using this um e, e currency, you know, electronic currency, in which in Nigeria they're going to start from November, and all of a sudden you see China already there, ready with theirs. You know, and the, you see the MOTB is already right here, man. Marcos is already here. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 41. I'm going to read verse 15 and 16. It says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, in which these mountains means powers, you know powers that be that are governments you know and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff you know sharp threshing sword let's see what it says which the most high is going to make us imbued instruments threshing you know it says treasure is sledge you know Treasure instrument. Okay, let's go back and see. Instrument. Not in really much here. I don't really want to go into it. I just wanted to see what it says. Having teeth. edge mouth you know an instrument the most high is going to make us you know into into you know like when you see this um this um when you see this um 
these superheroes, you know. That's what the Most High is going to do, man. Brothers will be able to beam out fire from their hands, man. Brothers will be able to, to, to take bullets and not die, man. Brothers will be able to fly like eagles, man. This sounds crazy, but this is Yahweh Hashem Shai, the power of all creation, man. And he's going to give this power to his princes, man. That's why we're called Yashar Allah, the princes of power, you know. This is the book of Isaiah 41:16. Thou shalt find them, and the wind shall carry them away. Man, can you hear that? That sounds like um, what's the name of this um superhero? You know that could command, that can command the wind, that can command the storm. I think the name is Storm and X Men. You know, so we can farm people, and the wind is going to carry them away, man. These are the words of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. And the wild wind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai, and thou shalt glory in the Holy One of Yashar Allah. You see, so you know we're expecting these powers from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. Hey, destruction is close. You know things are really, really about to get heated up. We're seeing what's going on in Australia, and those things are coming to your door soon, man. Here in Italy, within um today started within 15 16 days you know the law goes the law goes through man the decree that evil decree goes through you know if you don't take the if you don't have the the pass you know if you don't take the the the, the vanessa juice you know you can't walk you wouldn't receive any payment so these are the trials man so we know what, what, what would it cost a man to gain the whole world to gain some bread for some months and lose his soul man makes no sense so hey i would just i just wanted to share this this um lesson this dream you know and you know the spirit just you know leaded me to do this lesson and i hope it was edifying i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruka kudash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who taught me this truth which is the only represent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth Shalom.